Hey guys, it's Mrs. Tupper, just here to talk to you about how to set up your chapter pages for your novels going forward. All right, so we have a sheet of regular notebook paper here. It's wide ruled. It's a little different than normal. Usually we put our heading on the right hand side, but here it's going to be on the left along with the novel title. You don't have to write out the whole title. Um, for instance, if we're reading Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, it's not going to fit. You could just write Harry Potter. All right, so shorten it up. The part that needs to be nice and big, though, chapter and number. Um, for some of you in like English 2, we may be grouping some chapters, so just change it to chapters. Okay, so top right-hand side, vocab terms to know. You need one, two, three. You get to pick them up to you. Uh, I do want you to follow this format though. Have your word, a semicolon, part of speech, semicolon, and the definition. It needs to be a brief, simple definition that works for you. I recommend merriamwebster.com as usual. Okay, so you go from there as to what, or go from there to what part of the plot that we're in. I know it's a lot to write these down, but I want you to do it every time. Why? Because people have difficulty remembering them still, right? So write them down. Um, what you'll get, I guess I should back up for a moment, because what you're going to get are cutouts, right? Cardstock cutouts with the square here, the thought bubble, um, the speech box, and the arrow box. Those will be on cardstock, and you'll just put them down and trace. That's it, right? Every week. Or actually, it's going to be more than once a week, right? Um, every time you have a chapter to do, this is what you're going to do. You're going to trace those and fill them in. So I want these ones written out, right? And then check which part that you're in. If it's more than one, that's fine. Just check it. All right. So the second thing we'll have is the thought bubble. And it's what I think will happen next. You don't need to write that. Just start writing. I will know because it's the thought bubble at the top right that it's what you think is going to happen, right? Start off something simple. I predict or I think simple, right? Underneath that, a summary of events. Three to five concise sentences. You can go all the way out to the edge here if you need the space. All right, don't give me every little tiny detail, just the important stuff. Um, for instance, if it's exposition, I probably want to know the setting, the names of the characters, those sorts of things, right? All right, so moving down, and I'm actually going to zoom in on this a little bit. There we go, that's a little better. All right, so moving down, famous or noteworthy quote with the page number. Something that sticks out to you, something that you like, that strikes you as interesting or even something well-known, you know, if, if we're doing Harry Potter, right, something that's typically quoted, have that list the page number. In the box next to it, two things, right? First is explain what it means. What does the quote mean? It's very straightforward. But then explain why it matters underneath that. Why is it important? How does it relate to the rest of the work, the rest of the chapter, the theme? Something, right? Give me some kind of connection. As with the other one, um, the plot box, as with the thought box here, right, what you think is going to happen, you do not need to write in this text that says famous or noteworthy or explain. I'll know if it's in the right place that that's what it is. All right, moving down. Last set here. Um, you're going to draw a line. You'll have two Detail questions on the left-hand side. Detail questions are questions about plot, things that happened, um, events, uh, descriptions. You don't want to go too detailed, right? You don't want to say, what color shirt was so-and-so wear? Nobody's going to remember that, right? Then you'd be kind of maybe the next level up. These are questions that will be on the quiz. All right, so choose carefully. The other column is critical questions, two critical questions. These are ones that require you to think. These are the why questions, right? Why do you think, how, when could, right? Things that require a little bit more thought. Those ones I haven't required you to answer. Detailed questions you have to answer, 
critical you don't. So hopefully that makes sense. You're going to make one of these, um, if you're in the upper levels for every chapter, lower levels, usually one for every two chapters. All right. But see me if you have any questions.